I'm using a spare cell phone to do record this video, and for some reason the video is very dark even though it's well lit in here. But I don't have time to figure that out, so bear with me. We're going to be looking at the screen here in a moment anyway. Uh, so the other day I posted a video uh, about converting JSON to CSV files, sort of com comma-separated value files, basically your text files, uh, where you have a delimiter to divide up columns so it makes it into a spreadsheet. And someone commented like this. Uh, they asked me, uh, uh, one, why I'm, they're surprised that I'm using LibreOffice, which in, in truth, I have LibreOffice installed. I don't really do a lot of Office document stuff. I try to use, use plain text files for everything, whether I'm typing up a, a, a document of text or if I'm working with spreadsheets, I use CSV files. Uh, CSV files are very common if you go to your bank's website or your credit card's website. Lots of times they'll let you download your history and one of the options will usually say Excel format and most of the time that's a CSV file, which is just a plain text file that can be opened up in a spreadsheet document. Okay, uh, and again, I, I usually just stick to text files and I'll just view them on my terminal. Uh, there was a shell-based uh, viewer for viewing CSV and uh, Excel files and other spreadsheet files uh, that I saw um, Luke Smith use, and I played with that once or twice, but never really got into it. Well, this comment uh, from the video the other day, they, they were surprised I didn't use VisiData which I had never heard of before. Well, I learned about it about a half an hour ago and I'm doing a video on it. Uh, my video is gonna be very simple. This program does a lot. Do yourself a favor, YouTube search VisiData and watch the video that's made by one of the creators at a conference. It's a five minute video called VisiData Lightning Demo at Python Cascades 2018. And they go even further into this. And in that video, they, they have a spreadsheet file that uh, has some latitude and longitude in it, a lot of data, uh, data sets, but two of the columns are latitude and longitude. And they actually did a color interactive map in the terminal based on that data, plotting it out, which is pretty cool. I haven't got that far into it, but let's pull down some fake data from once again, randomuser.me. Uh, the other day we, t we uh, download this as a JSON, convert it to CSV, and I, I don't think I mentioned in that video, they do support CSV, so you can actually dump it straight from that website as a CSV. I was just using that as an example of JSON data. But here we go, I got wget randomuser.me API results. I'm gonna pull down 20 fake user information, and I'm gonna format it as CSV, and I'm gonna put it into a file called people.csv. I'll do that, we'll just take a second. I also, uh, VisiData seems to be very good about uh, determining what type of file this is because I pulled up a uh, tab file, uh, uh, TSV, a tab separated file. So basically same thing, but instead of using commas, it uses tabs, uh, And but the file was just named uh, .txt but it still recognized that were tabs in there and divided up the columns accordingly. Anyway, uh, sudo apt on your Debian based system, install, gotta spell install right, I always when I type fast get that NNS backwards, uh, Visi data, just like that, we'll install it, I already have it installed, once it's installed you can type out Visi data, but it also seems to have it uh, either aliased or linked as VD, <laughs> which I just realized is kind of funny, um, so uh, type VD or Visi data and that CSV file that we just created, <clears throat> Excuse me. And it looks like this, you know, it's it's a spreadsheet. Uh, and you got your columns here and you can scroll through them. Uh, you can go down, you can use Vim bindings to move up and down, left and right. Now, if you get to a column and like, let's say I don't care about their login salt, I can just do the minus key. The minus key just hides a column. We're not editing the file at this point. We're just hiding columns at this point, right? So we can do that. Another thing that might be very common is you can filter columns. So first, I'm gonna to go to this first co column of gender. I'm gonna hit the pipe symbol, and then I'm going to give it what I want to filter it. And does partial matches, you can also use regular, re regular expressions or regexes here. You'll see when I hit pipe down at the bottom, it says select regex. So you can give it regular expressions. I'm just gonna type in female. I'll hit enter and it highlights all the uh, rows that that column says female. If I now at this point hit the quotation mark, it hides all the other rows and only shows the ones that say female for gender. If I go over to name title, I can do the same thing. I'll do pipe, I'll do miss, whoops, miss. I'll hit enter, it highlights 
the rows of the matches. If I hit the quotation mark, it narrows down that list. I'm going to go to the last column, which is the nation that they're in. I'm going to hit pipe. I'll hit uh, GB for Great Britain, and I will hit enter. It highlights those. I hit quotation marks, and now we have just found in this fake data set all the females that go by Miss uh, that are in Great Britain. We just narrowed down the list. Uh, and again, in that other video I talked about, they showed you how to plot out very advanced plots to do to visualize mapping data. Uh, but real quick, I'm going to scroll over to a column here called DOB, date of birth. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit Shift F, and it just plotted out, um, as you can see here, a little graph based on the date of birth of what we had narrowed the list down. Now, at any point, if I hit, uh, is it escape? No, Q. Q basically brings you back a command. I hit it so many times I went out of the program. Uh, so now I can, now I'm viewing the entire file, the inf entire 2000 names that we downloaded. Again, fake information here. Uh, but we're going to go over again to that date of birth column. And if I hit Shift F, I just plot it out and they list it. There's in this particular data set, people who are 28 make up uh, 50 of those people, that's 2.5%. And you can see the chart here. And you can sort, and again, I've only been playing with this for maybe a half an hour. And don't you love people who do tutorials on something that they just started doing? But I just thought this was such a great program. I had to do a video on it before I forgot to do a video on it. So maybe I'll do some more advanced stuff in a future video, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention since it was just brought to my attention. And again, uh, the person who does, again, YouTube search, Vizidat, uh, at Vizidata and the, or Vizidata, I'm not really sure. <laughs> the, one of the first videos we get up was called Vizidata, Vizidata, uh, lightning demo at Python Cascades. Watch that video. It's a five minute video and it's a great little demonstration on some of the stuff this program can do. Um, but yeah, doing stuff in the terminal, especially stuff like this, it's just so much cleaner and faster and easier when you have the right tools than going into a GUI application. And, um, I just in a little bit I play with this. I, I I know I'm going to be using this program a lot. So I thought I'd share it with you. Thank you for watching. Check out this program. Check out other videos on YouTube that go more in depth on it and give you some more key bindings for it. Uh, it at any point, if you hit uh, backspace in this program, it does bring up the help file. Uh, it's kind of like they know that you're going to mess up, and your 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 default is to hit backspace. It's like ah, you need help if you're hitting backspace. And again, I hit hit Q to get out of that. Q to get out of this, Q to get out of that. And again, anything you do, you hit Q to back out of. Um, so yeah, filmsbychris.com, that's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. I thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. I do have a Patreon page. There's a link in the description of the video for that. Uh, I also have other ways you can support me, PayPal, LibrePay, filmsbychris.com. That's my website. There's a link in the description. There is a support section that will bring you to all that stuff. Then you can also search through all my videos with nice little thumbnails on my website. Uh, if you can't support financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and interacting with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video, you learned something useful, and I hope that you have a great day.